In this video, I'm going to go over how to pass a Security Plus in 30 days when you know absolutely nothing about computers, but I'm also going to explain to you how you can understand the material in the quickest way possible and the most efficient way possible. So many people think that by reading the book is how you're going to gain the best understanding. I'm here to tell you that is completely false. Reading the book is the absolute worst way to understand the material. And I spend way too much time reading the book and rereading the book. And honestly, I didn't even grasp the concepts and it was just a huge waste of time. So this video hopefully is going to give you a better way to study for not only the Security Plus, but all of the other exams that you're going to take in your IT career. I want to note that this is based on Ali Abdal's How to Study for Exams Masterclass, and that can be found on Skillshare. I'm not sponsored by Skillshare. So there are a few things that I want to include before getting into actually how to start studying. The first one is Parkinson's Law. This basically says uh, the time allotted uh, for something will take that amount of time. So if you allot yourself three months to learn Security Plus, it will probably take you three months. However, if you allot yourself 30 days, which is what I did, it will take you 30 days. That's because time the, the task will expand or shrink to exactly what amount of time that's given to you. It's some fascinating stuff. And also artificial deadlines. So I suggest from this day, go and book your test right now. That gives you a sure thing, like you're invested in it, you're gonna do it. Go right now, book, go. Shoo, just stop this video, go book. So <laughs> is motivation. Now you think you need motivation, but you absolutely do not need motivation. You, you're not gonna feel like studying for the next 30 days every day, but you're going to have to do it in a way, you're gonna have to force yourself to do it. And once you get started, honestly, it's easy from that. So the first 20 minutes is probably the hardest, and then after that, it's just kind of a breeze. You may even find yourself enjoying learning about the material. There are two things to remember when studying for the Security Plus. That's number one, you have to understand the material. If you just memorize all of the facts, it's completely pointless to even take the test. Um, memorizing facts like what a HIDS is, what type of attacks they are, is completely useless if you don't understand exactly what you're doing. So the first step, step number one, is to understand the scope of all of the material. And what I suggest for this is to actually get a book and then just skim through it. Try to understand all of the material. Don't read and reread it but make sure you have a good oversight of everything. So you're seeing the forest, and then you'll go into the trees later, but you have to understand exactly the scope of what you're doing. And then once you have a good understanding, you're going to want to remember. So that will be steps four and five. That's when you're gonna go into the details and you're going to use active recall uh, and questions and answers to, to retrieve that information so you're be be able to better retain it for the test. Step one, you're going to want to understand CompTIA Security Plus. Now, I suggest getting the book for this, as I said earlier. Um, and the book that I recommend is Daryl Gibson's Security Plus. Uh, here it is, I'll also link it below, and you can check that out. And so go over the book, spend about four or five hours briefly reading through it, so you have a good understanding of what exactly you're gonna do. Another thing you can do is you get the exam objectives, and then also just briefly go through that and then kind of link them up so you have a good. This should take no more than four to five hours. And this is day zero. So this, this is kind of your, your prep work that you're going to. We're gonna go into figuring out the details. Now I suggest video for this. So you have your book, but I suggest uh, watching Professor Messer's Security Plus uh, YouTube videos, they're all free. Now, I don't want you to spend your time taking notes passively or highlighting or do any of that. Now, what I want you to do instead of passively taking notes is I want you to write your notes, well, I guess they are notes, but in question form. So for instance, if you're talking about malware attacks, I want you to write them in question form. So if it's just like, what is a DDoS attack? Um, and then he explains it, but in your notes, right, what is a DDoS attack or what are the types of DDoS attacks? And it, or if you write all of your questions 
uh, write all of your notes in questions forms, and, and this will help you with active recall later on. So now it's time to get into the remember aspect. So you scoped the subject, you have a good understanding of what exactly is happening. Now you're gonna go in and you're gonna start to remember those details. So I suggest using Anki cards and that's gonna help with spaced repetition. Spaced repetition, the magic behind it is it's actually, it makes learning harder. And the harder learning is, the more you're actually going to learn, uh, which will help you way more on a job than just memorizing a whole bunch of facts that you can't apply learn from my mistakes, don't do that. And this goes into uh, passive versus active learning. So passive is just like mindlessly taking notes. Active is recalling information after you have forgotten it. So you're going to want to do it at intervals. You're gonna have to put in a lot of hours here, but trust me, it will be worth it. And it's building your foundation for IT for basically your entire career. So I really suggest putting in the effort. And also I would suggest using Anki cards and don't make your own. You can just get them on the internet. I'll also link those below. They're completely free. I suggest using them for spaced repetition. Um, and then you're also gonna wanna go over those questions that you created in step two, which was uh, going through the details, making questions instead of passively taking notes. And you're going to want to go through each one of those questions. And if you don't understand in something or you can't recall it, that's when you go into the book and you read just that portion and it gives you a better context of exactly what it is. But, and that also helps with active recall. So you're helping remember the facts. So the fourth step is called the Feynman technique. And this basically says, teach it to a child. So once you have gone through all the material, you scoped it, you understood it, you active recalled it. Now you're going to want to explain these concepts to a child and you're going to want to see where you have gaps in your information. And let me tell you, this is so important because I thought I knew something and then someone asked me a question and I really just, I couldn't explain it to them. Even though I read all about it, I watched so much videos about it, I could not explain to them what this was in simple terms because I didn't have a full grasp on this. So you're going to want to make note of those those uh those gaps that you may have and this is extremely important teach it to a child went through each of the four first steps and you have a really good grasp the last week before the test do the the bosun questions for security plus these are by far the best questions you will find and will give you a really good grasp and i say wait to the end to do the questions because it'll solidify all of the information you learned in the previous three weeks Yes, that's three weeks of just constant security plus. And this, this will really give you kind of the edge on the test. And not only will it give you the edge on the test, it will give you a great understanding of the material and also the confidence to sell this to an employer. So you may want to take shortcuts or you know, you found some answers on the internet. Eh, that's fine, but you really need to understand the material because this is the basis of your career how you pass the security plus in under 30 days now if you enjoyed this video and want more videos like that like comment and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me also this channel is all about changing your career into tech so if you want to learn more about that please just subscribe to the channel and then tell me i mean some constructive criticism is pretty good too so thank you for watching see you